Hey guys, welcome back to another alphabet challenge letter. I believe we are on the letter G, as in goat, or good, or glad, or, um, yeah, I had to look this one up because I had no idea. The only thing I could think of was glue. <laughs> I was like, well, I've got tons and tons and tons of different varieties of glue. Like I have two separate glue drawers. I have one for dry glue and then I have one for wet glue. And then I have one like that's completely separate for tape. Um, for like my tape guns and such like that. Anyway, so I was like, hmm, glue. <laughs> so uh, I think I finally decided to do glassine. Um, and um, Miss Gail had actually done one for jelly printing, but I have not done jelly printing in a minute. So, um, I didn't want to bring all of that out. Um, so I figured I would do, uh, glassine because it would utilize the stuff that I already have out. Um, so, uh, this is basically just here so I could keep an eye on where my camera is because my camera is over to the left of where I normally work. Cause I normally work like right here and my camera is angled over here. This is just here to help me guide where I'm supposed to be. Um, so I have little glassine envelopes here and we're going to decorate those and make them party. And there's, there's just uh, coffee dyed. Uh, it's not chipboard or cardstock. It's uh, it's just a heavy weight type paper. I'd say probably a hundred pound type paper or a thirty pound cardstock. You know, either or. They're around the same. Uh, what is it called? Uh, GSI, I think. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it has eluded me the acronym. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so we're going to do glassine bags and I'm going to set my alarm. Don't mind me. I was posting listings earlier. I forgot to clear that out before I go. There we go. All right. It's set for 30 minutes, and yet again, I have no idea what I'm doing. But we're going to just go with it. I did plan on using some stickers, though, because I think stickers on glassine look really nice. Um, we just have to make sure not to use ones that are too big. Like, I really like this one, but I think this one might be too big. Um, yeah, that one's... If I trim the edges off, it, it'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not use this to ink on. I'm going to use as soon as I grab it. Come here, paper. I just need one sheet. My extra copy paper and such is up here above my above my desk up there. Anyway, this is just 32 pound type paper. Um, and these are some stickers. Uh, I've had these stickers for a minute. Um, and I recently put some up on the interwebs. Uh, sorry, getting all my stuff together here. Anyway, I put some up on, um, on Etsy recently because I know a lot of people look for those all right so we're using this one I'm going to ink the edges of my glassine here but I'm not gonna like hard ink them uh, basically I'm not gonna pick it up and do this because that'll put a hard edge on it and I don't want that I want a gradual effect which you might be able to see Maybe. Um, my camera doesn't really like white and it kind of throws everything off if white is in the picture at all. Alright, uh, let's do 
this side. Whee! Please. All right, so I do want to grab my sand block real quick um, because I want this to stick. So I'm going to just do a very light, a very light sand on that. And it takes a little bit of that gloss off. Come here. So when I glue something down, it's going to stay. Mm. I have so much stuff on my desk right now. I can't even see my toolbox over here because I have like this giant, because I still have my doilies on my desk. They're not normally on my desk because they take up a lot of space. Um, because they're in two separate baskets. And so these are little vellum stickers or rice paper stickers. They're not really vellum. I'm not sure who coined that. I don't even think their label is vellum if you try to buy them. Like on Amazon or eBay or wherever it is you get your stickers or Etsy. I don't label them as vellum. I label them as um, transparent or semi-transparent. Only because I don't want to label them as rice paper stickers because I don't know that they are rice paper stickers. And I don't want to label them as vellum stickers because I really don't think they're vellum stickers. Alright. So, there is that. I love these stickers. Alright, and we're going to trim this down just a hair. Okay, maybe a sliver more. Alright, um, come here. Probably not a good idea to put the glue on the glassine bag because it like makes it all wrinkly, but that's okay because we just aged this up, so wrinkly is fine by me. Um, let's see, we're gonna add a little bit of juge. I don't know what that sound is. I just said very strange sound. That's way too big. Oh, that's little. I like that. And then, maybe that little bitty one. Can we do just the little bitty one? I like just the little bitty one. All right, snippy snips. All right, let's figure this out. All right, so this came from I don't know where. Oh, I don't need snips. It's glued. I like it when it's glued because then I can just peel it off. All right, let's see. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, we're going to carry corner these just a smidge. Do this one like this. And I just put it kind of like in the middle because I kind of want it to flare up a little bit. And I'll put that one right there. And I'm not going to go all the way to the edge on this one either because same thing. I kind of want it to have that dimension. Because I mean if it lays flat, it lays flat. That's fine. But if you put it like on the cover or something, it'll kind of like flare up a little bit, you know? As long as you don't glue it down. If you glue it down, it won't. But. Whee! And then right smack dab in the middle of all of that jazz. And then glue all over my fingers. 
surprise, I put glue on my fingers. That's really cute. I like that. Y'all think? Isn't that pretty? I like it. All right, so there's one. So I just kind of throw it over there. And let's see, what do we want to do for a second one? Oh, let's put a card back in it. I'm not doing anything with the card. It just happened to be some scraps that fit perfectly into these little glassine bags. All right. Um, I kind of want to do this one this way. Um, let's see. color but I like that. Alright, we're gonna do like so. And uh, this is I think used to be a tablecloth. Um it's machine manufactured. This one's not this one is not handmade. But we're gonna color this a little bit. And this is archival ink. It's not um what is it? Uh, oh my gosh, my brain doesn't want to work. It's not the one that it changes colors and such when you get it wet. Oxide. Yes. We're coloring the other side too because some of it's going to hang off. And I actually like archival ink. Um, I have a decent stash of it. This was the first inks that I really spent any money on. Was the archival inks. Um, now, of course, I would get the, you know, whatever they had at, you know, Target Dollar Spot or, you know, what have you. Because just like everyone else, if I can get it cheaper, I will. But ink is one of the things that I have found, um, especially depending on what your, you know, goal is with it, like what you want it to be doing. And for what I want it to be doing, I really do recommend spending the money and getting the archival ink. Because sometimes I like it to change colors, but sometimes I just want it to be the color that I want it to be, you know? Because I'm all about, like, color experimentation. Because, I mean, I play with the graphic design all the time. But, I don't know. I guess when I want it to be a certain color, I just want it to be a certain color. I don't know. I guess I'm weird. But then again, it didn't take ink to figure that out. Oh my gosh, that was hot. I don't know if y'all saw that, but it just flipped over and it hit my thumb. All right. Okay. So, so far so good. I really like this, but I think it might be much. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's not have the writing upside down. All right, let's color you a little bit. We're just going to color the edges just a little bit. Because, I mean, it's already pretty colored anyway. Um, I don't remember what this fabric is. I bought this a, a while back, sometime last year. And I just had some pieces left over, so I shredded them up. And it's just one of the, 
I didn't get a whole lot of shredding done before I realized I shouldn't be doing that. So if I wanted, sh if I want shredded fabric, I will find it on Etsy or find somebody else to do it for me because I can't do that. Um, I think we're gonna use Fabri-Tac. Um, ooh, I forgot to sand this. Ooh, ooh, I hope it stays. But I'm gonna sand the rest of it just in case. And my lights just flickered. It is it's not really storming, but it like it poured down rain, and then it stopped. Like I don't I don't know what's going on with the weather. It's being weird. Oh, I do notice that um, whether it's archival ink or whatever it is, um, Fabri-Tac will change the color of it. I have noticed that. Water doesn't, but Fabri-Tac will. I think it's the chemicals in it, honestly. Because we all know Fabri-Tac is not necessarily 100% natural. Alright, that's cool. I like that. Um, I think we're just going to keep layering this thing, man. Might be a little much. That's pretty. Okay, I like that. All right. Cool. Yeah. These are some appliques that I recently found. Um, probably about four or five months ago. Something like that. It was like back in January, maybe. I don't remember. I only recently just got them on Etsy, though. Um, I am trying so hard to catch up um, because I want you know all of the inventory on the shop and whatnot but my kids I mean obviously my kids come first and my kids had like 17,000 projects last week so I couldn't do anything I was like oh my gosh this is crazy like Sydney had four science projects, Porter had four science projects, Porter also had programming projects. I was like, are you kidding? We're just going to darken this just ever so slightly because it's pretty white, like it is dark white. And I still want to keep the shine to it, but I do want to darken it just a smidge. <clears throat> there we go. That's better. I think maybe push it up or angle it. Hmm. Oh, the dilemma. I like that. It's kind of nice. Kind of like it just right there in the middle, too. I think I like it this way the best. Yeah, we're going to leave it like that. We're going to go with hot glue. That way I don't have to worry about it moving around. All right. Oh, that's warm. <laughs> Just, you know, disregard that really strange noise. Um, all right. Not sure what my husband's doing. It's actually evening time right now. Um, I'm trying to catch up on the videos as well because, um, you know, just like I wasn't able to do much with the shop this week or last week or other, um, I wasn't able to do much with YouTube either. So I'm trying to catch up with the videos and I'm going to be doing, I'm going to film a few of them today, today's Saturday. This will post tomorrow on Sunday. Um, so I'm going to try to do a couple videos today and maybe try to catch up and get ahead a little bit because I actually used to do that a long time ago. I would film ahead and I'd be like a week or two ahead, but I'd have gaps in between. Like I'd have, um, 
like if I was working on a special project or whatnot, I would have gaps to where I could add extra videos if, you know, something happened or, you know, how to, well, I didn't have my shop back then, but, you know, if you have a sale or something, um, so I have these doilies, but I don't particularly want them right this second, but there is something that I do want over here. At least I think it's over here. What do I do with it? Oh, jeez. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Anyway, um, but that's kind of another reason why I'm doing every other day right now is if I go back to filming, you know, that's really pretty. I like that one. Come here, you. Sorry, that's probably super duper loud. Perfect. All right. And it is amazing contrast because it is so shiny. All right. I need the E6000. What did I do with E6000? Come here, you. Anyway, that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm doing every other day right now. So if I just, you know, feel like turning the camera on and crafting with you guys, I don't have to reschedule everything to uh to do that not that i have anything to reschedule right now anyway because i don't have anything scheduled at the moment um the last one that you guys watched was the file folders which was yesterday all right i don't know what my time is my phone is shut off oh not bad i have almost 11 minutes left I'm going to try to hold this down for a sec. But that's also why I'm not drinking, you know, my Monsters or coffee or V8s because it's not the morning time. It's actually in the evening, 17.07 at the moment. 5.07, sorry. I just thought about it. No, I just looked at my clock on my... On my computer and it's the 24 hour clock and what's is funny because I, I think a lot of people call it military time I don't think it is military time I think it's just a 24 hour clock and the military happens to use the 24 hour clock but I mean that is the only reason I know it because <laughs> the military but anyway <clears throat> that is that little glassine bag I thought that turns out really cool. All right. So, oh yeah, all of the other letters that I've done so far, um, all of the projects were not a bad go. There it is. Um, I have put those on the shop. Somebody was asking me if I was selling them. And I was like, sure. So I put them on the shop. All right. Uh, let's sand this first before we forget. And it doesn't need to be a regular sanding. It just needs to take off the gloss. And I'm just wiping this on my shirt. That if you have a tissue or something, that'll work. I'm just getting this dust off of it. That's all. Um, that's pretty. Ooh, how do we do this side? We do this side after we already sanded that part. <laughs> Makes sense. We could make it into a paper clip, I think. I don't know how much time we have left, but we're going to work on it. We're going to try it. All right. I have little tiny paper clips in here. All right. But that means it's not going to be an envelope. Hmm. How can I do this? I could do it this way. Or I could just do it upside down. Because, I mean, you'd put this against the paper like that. That's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to do it upside down. All right, so I need some paper because we want to cover this up because we don't want to see it. Um, let's see, those are tags. I don't want that, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Um, how big are you? Oh, this is really thick. I don't know that this is going to work. Um, I have these on my desk because I've been, uh, because as you guys know, I'm not doing the YouTube sales anymore. So I took that little basket and um, it's on my desk. And so whenever people have an order through the shop, All right. Oh, that'll be cool too because that can be the the little closure for the envelope, you know. Okay, so there's that one and that one. Now we just need to put something on top of it. So. It, Stays glued down. All right. Um, we could use that. Actually, I want to close it down all the way. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Think, 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 think. Um, that's my time. Five minutes. Think, 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 think. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right. And then this side, I'm gonna use this one because this one is already right. nope, stay down. There you go. Fold this all the way over. We're gonna need another. One, um, let's go a different color. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna glue this with the hot glue. All right. So we're kind of going off subject with this one just a smidge. Because we're not really decorating the glassine bag. We're kind of making a hidden paper clip. And we're putting it on a glassine bag. Ow. Okay. And then... I'm going to take that same one, we're going to put it here, we're going to layer it, um, something, maybe like that, okay, we'll do that, cover up that little seven, alright, um, ow, This timer is going to yell at me, I know it. Ow. Okay. Okay. 
a smaller one here. These little trees. Nope, I don't want that. This one here. That one here. Please don't yell at me, phone. I'm almost done. Okay. Now we can put this one on this side. Oops, I don't know what I just did, but I clicked something on my mouse. I'm like holding the other side because it's got E6000 on it. If you don't hold it, it'll move. All right, let's figure out what I just did. Um. Okay, yeah, we're still going. Ah! Sheesh. I knew it was going to yell at me. All right, so I think, like I said, this one went off topic just a smidge. We just kind of decorated a hidden paper clip on top of a glassine bag. <laughs> Does that count? I hope that counts. Um, so. There's the hidden paper clip. And I don't really want to move it because those are still, let's see, coming off. I don't think I put enough goopy gup on this one. There. Now you have a blob of goopy gup. No excuses. All right, so we've got this side goes on one side of the page, and then we've got this side that goes on the other side of the page. Okay, and I think I have like doily dust and glue all over the place. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this so that it doesn't move. And I will just come back later when it's dried. So you'll probably, I'll show you guys again, um, not in the next video, because it's not going to be dry by then. Because <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm going to record a couple of videos at once and try to get ahead a little bit. So, um, but if you guys want, I can show you when it's dry. Um, Otherwise, it'll probably be on my shop at some point. I don't know. I just did like a mass listing. So I'm probably not going to list anything for a minute. Um, yeah, that's thunder. I hear it. I heard it. It's thunder. Apparently, it's supposed to rain for like the next two weeks. There's a storm or something out in the water. Um, it's not a tropical storm or, or it's not a hurricane or nothing like that. It's just like a... It's just a pressure system. I think, I don't know. I don't really watch the news. It's just what Wayne said. Or I think Wayne said. I don't know. Um, I don't really listen about the news either. 
I stopped watching. I even stopped watching the stuff on the COVID because they just keep repeating the same thing just a different day. So I just stopped watching it. All in a nutshell, don't go out. Don't be around other people. Okay, got it. I can do that. I do that anyway. So anyway, now that I'm done cleaning up a little bit, I'm going to hop off of here and I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have fun and uh, craft a whole, whole bunch. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.